one of the great things about an iPad is all the AR and VR options that you have, and I just want to share a few of them with you. Some of these don't work anymore, but there are some great ones in here, and I have a whole list of them for you. Um, but a couple of the ones that I really, really like would be Jigspace. Let's see, Jigspace right here. And so it's going to be a little bit difficult. You're going to see. Let's see if we can find it. We're going to go to the Jig Library. There's library with all kinds of different um, options here. And so you can take a look at maybe here's the coral reef. We can go to the coral reef. And then what you do as you wait for a few seconds, it's assembling my jig. And then once it does, you just tap on it. And a, your item will appear. So there we go. And there's my clothes. And here I am in my bedroom, but I also have this coral reef. And you can see that there's some instructions. It says coral reefs are one of the most biodiverse. I can, there's 16, 13 slides. So then it talks about plants and polyps. So that's jig space. There's, a, there's also a jig workshop where you can create your own. The other one I love for little kids is PBS. Turn that down. Uh, PBS. Plums, photo hunt. So you can go to Let's photo Let's go on missions. a photo hunt. You choose a mission. You, um, you're going to take a photo of interesting, interesting things. things in nature. So they can go out and take pictures of interesting things in nature. And so I'm going to say no. So you can have them go outside and do a little. Um, Save photos them, and text uh, together go as to, pages. To uh, create journal. There's another one called Creaturizer. That's also by PBS. And so this is do, 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 Plum's Creaturizer. Plum's Hello, creature. Earthling. Let's build creatures and photograph them doing different things outdoors. <laughs> Tap the button to make a band. Tap on body parts to change them. And then you just change the different kinds of adaptations that they have. And then Check that it's done. okay with the girl. Choose a mission. Go and, um, where is a go good place for it to live with its babies? It will live with its babies. So you take the kids outside. Drag to you move your creature. Place outside, and you put the pinch to resize your creature. Use two fingers to picture. turn your creature. So anyway, now take your creature's really photo. Cool one. The other one that's a really neat one is um, WWF Free Rivers. This is also free and you can actually create a whole river system and see the water cycle and what a dam does to um, the, e the eco uh, ecosystem around Rivers it. Rivers are the Earth's lifeblood. So here They're we go. They're home gonna... to tens of thousands of species. There's my Provide food river and system livelihoods right here. for millions of people and sustain energy landscapes. And then I can but we are losing the world's few remaining free kind of stuff. Ocean go. water evaporates so here, into clouds it talks about and fall as evaporation. rain. You see the clouds as rainwater building. flows over the landscape, it collects important nutrients and other natural materials. Then we can go to this sediment. icon right A here. A river's and flow naturally changes, depositing sediment along the way. When full, the river spill. People need energy. But the wrong so dam can, in the wrong place can, see can devastate how this people kids and nature. Would love this. They get see, to see how this dam river. impacts the island community, and you Farmers can see how it Delta. changes the the geography, the vegetation as you go along. So there's Dams the dam. Dams and other infrastructure like roads free the river. all reduce a river's connectivity. In many places, now dams can be removed to reconnect the river and restore natural functions. And you see what happens when they do that. So there's all kinds of really cool things on this this um, this app. So I have a list of them. USA Today also has some VR stories, which is really cool, um, where you can go into some, here's some stuff from the Olympics, and you can actually, whoops, just quit on me. It just quit on me, so here we go. There it is, and you can kind of 
to see some different things there. So let's get out of that. Um, just a lot of really cool AR. GeoGebra has an AR feature. And then there's another fun one called Map Ninja. Um, so you check out some of these if you have an iPad. It's totally worth it. Or if you have access to iPads with your kids, totally worth it.